Waterways from Ingham to the Daintree have been analysed for the region's first wet tropics report card. Experts say there is room for improvement, with most waterways receiving a C for their water quality. The pilot report card provides a snapshot of the condition of our waterways. 19 organisations joined together to collect and analyse data from freshwater, marine and estuary water channels. The majority of waterways were graded as moderate. We've been under scrutiny for a long time about all the impacts that we're making out of this region and to say, look, this is a good starting point. Several waterways received a poor grade for their habitat and hydrology, including including the Barren River and the Trinity Inlet. Over 150 years of settlement and uh, reclamation of land, uh, primarily wetlands for that settlement, it's, it's always going to be that uh, the starting point is going to be a lot less than what the natural system is. The Wet Tropics Partnership says agriculture in the region generated $1.1 billion for the Australian economy in 2014-15. They sometimes unfairly have a finger pointed to them and I think that this our project gives them an opportunity to tell a more detailed story and uh, identify areas that can be, Im can be improved. Cairns Regional Council says it hopes to build on the results for next year. We already do a significant amount to actually improve water quality. But having said that, we can always, yeah, always get better. Letitia Wallace, 7 News. Waterways flowing into the Great Barrier Reef have been tested for the first time and the results are surprising. Data compiled by a number of agencies has graded regions from the Daintree to Ingham on a report card. It's the Far North signature piece, at the forefront of environmental concerns largely due to human activity. Now for the first time the industries that affect our waterways have been held to account. We've been under scrutiny for a long time about all the impacts that we're making out of this region and to say, look, this is a good starting point. Pooled data from 19 organisations from community to government have resulted in a pilot report card and it's an overall C grade for waterways in our region. Um, are we happy? Uh, it's a realistic uh, result. A number of indicators including fish population, hydrology testing and water quality were assessed from research already being done at the 22 sites. Coming out on top with a B, the Daintree and central inshore and offshore areas, mostly due to less development and activity. The starting point is going to be a lot less than what the natural system is. So that's an important context in the, for, the, for the pilot report cut. The quarter of a million dollar government funded initiative will be used as a baseline to monitor trends and changes in years to come. Industry in particular, agriculture, everybody's trying their hardest to do the right thing and to make continuous improvement. The water report card is one action proposed in UNESCO's long term plan for sustainability. Hayley Francis, Win News.